In our last lab, we discussed mass and what it means in terms of a substance's particles. Remember, mass is a physical property, which means that it is a way that we can describe that matter. Mass is a physical property that describes how much matter is present in a given sample. We use kilograms to measure mass and determine that mass using a balance. Volume is another physical property of matter. Volume describes how much space an object occupies. The volume of a liquid is measured with a graduated cylinder and labeled with milliliters. So now that we are beginning to describe matter, it begs the question of whether or not these properties are related to each other. If you have a sample of a substance, are the mass and volume related? Does it matter if we have a little bit of mass or a lot of mass? Say we have a sample of metal. It has a certain volume and a certain mass. If we double that volume, will mass double? So what we want to look at is the relationship between the mass and the volume of a substance. As we increase volume, does mass increase? And if it does, does it increase at a certain rate? So we have these little pieces of two different types of metals. If we want to find the relationship between the mass and the volume, then we are going to need to determine the mass of a certain volume of the metal. If we want to find the relationship between the mass and the volume, then we are going to need to determine the mass and the volume of that metal. Think about how we're going to find mass. How are we going to find volume? Now you might look at these and say, yes, those are cylinders. But I'm going to tell you, my husband cut these and did so without much precision. So they are not perfect cylinders. The best bet here would be to use displacement to determine the volume. Also note how similar they are in size. Precision in your measurements is going to make a huge difference here. When using the graduated cylinders in our lab, remember we should be estimating to the nearest tenth of a milliliter in each measurement. There are two types of metals. One is a bit darker in color and is marked with a black dot on the end. We will call this one metal A. The other one is lighter in color with no black dot. This one will be labeled as metal B in our data. We will again be graphing this data, so we want at least five data points for each metal for a total of 10 individual measurements. Also, please be very careful when you pour out your water. Do not let the pieces of metal escape down the drain. As you may have noticed, we have enough problems with that without adding to it. So before coming to lab, you will need to have a few things set up in your lab notebook. So think about what it is that you need to have in your lab notebook. The title of this lab is Mass Volume Lab. The question is mass and volume related. For the purposes of this lab, we will use the volume of the metal in milliliters as the independent variable and the mass of the metal in grams as the dependent variable. Make a prediction as to how you think the mass and the volume are going to be related. Write up a short procedure, and go ahead and get a sketch of a data table. Remember you're doing five samples of each metal. Each sample, you're going to measure the mass and the volume of that sample. 